Yo, what's going on? Thanks for watching this video. My name is Gabe, and I'm going to teach you how to make a sound mod. My boy Nazar hit me up from uh, MNBA, and he asked me to make an S55 sound mod for him, which if you don't know, this is coming up in his new M2 pack, which includes my N55 sound in the LCI 2018 M2. And then this F55 sound will be going on his M2 comp and his M2 CS. So what you need first is a recording app. And personally, I use Audacity. You can just go to your website link down below and download whichever platform you're on. Second app that I use is Adobe Audition. Um, you're gonna have to pitch audio before you can be able to put it into FMOD. So I use Adobe Audition for that. And lastly, of course, you need FMOD, but there's a twist to this. So if you go to Aceto, SDK, Audio, and open up this PDF right here, it'll tell you that you need 1.08.12. So go over to the FMOD website, click Older, scroll down until you find 1.08.12, somewhere in here. Great, let's get straight to it. Once you install all those, go over to YouTube search whatever you want and usually I start off with interior samples because they're the easiest to make and for interior samples if I could find videos of it I use videos from auto top NL once you find your sample open up audacity and make sure MME mode is switched to Windows Wasabi set up your speakers set up your microphone make sure it's in stereo mode and you should be all set to record, so let's do it. Right, so we're left with this nearly 5 second sample. I don't think there's anything else to cut other than maybe a little bit of the start. First thing you should notice, let's play it again, just for reference. Is that the levels are unequal on both the left and right side of your headset, or at least my headset. So what I just did there, went to the pan tool and moved it 30% left, so now you can see that they're pretty equal. And if you guys didn't know, I record real life cinematography for cars. And what I learned is that you should definitely have your level at minus six. So let's raise it up a little bit. Perfect. What you also might notice is the little shift sound at the very start. And we're going to keep that. I'm going to teach you guys how to make shift sounds in FMOD 2. But for right now, we can just deal with that later. Um, I think that's pretty much it for Audacity. Let's export it as WAV. You don't need to go MP3 or anything like that. Um, name it something that hasn't been named yet. Uh, let's see here. Interior High Shift. Go ahead and save that. And if you're making a shift sound like that, you also want to make a normal sound of it. Meaning that it's the same sample, just another version where the shift sound is cut off. I'll cut off, cut off a little more. Perfect. We can go ahead and export that. Make sure it's not the same name as per usual. Cherry Ek, hi. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and go over to Audition. Now that we're in Audition, you can just pop one of your samples. It doesn't really matter which one. Uh, over here, it's a little box. And take a listen if you need to. But the whole reason that we need a pitching app is to go make the pitch perfect throughout the whole sample. I'll show you guys what I mean by that in a little bit. Um, so, 
Usually I have it set at 10 semitones for the pitch line. I don't know what it's called, but I call it the pitch line. Um, and then set two points at the start and end. Now what you're gonna wanna do is to adjust the line to make it sound like it's a constant pitch throughout the whole sample. So let's do that real quick. Take as many listens as you have to, but for me, I think this is perfect. Go ahead and go to file, export, and save it to wherever. I'm gonna make a new S55 project sample folder, save all my samples. Open, save, press okay. Now that you're back in Audacity, take your sample from, I can't find it. And take anyone, put it in Audacity. Good. So what you're gonna wanna do now is go to effect. Or actually no, you gotta copy paste first, go to effect and reverse. Zoom in to the split. Make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary with the wavelengths. And there is, great. So you can just cut that out. Like that. Doesn't have to be too precise, but. All right, let's play it again. Pitch all the way through is pretty constant, which is good. There's a little bit of uh, discrepancies with the split, but you're not gonna notice that in F mod, so go ahead and export. And it should rename it automatically, so just press save, okay. Do the same thing for the shift sound if you're gonna put it in here too. For shift sounds, it's a little different. sample not the shift sound reverse it right, not bad. I'm gonna look at the split do something like that and I mean you can be precise with it but I'm pretty lazy so I just literally copy it again Zoom in a little closer, copy it again, and not include the shift sound. And then this time, when you're doing it for the second time, don't reverse it, just boom. Let's have a listen. Right. So there's obviously something wrong with the split, the second one. Oh, that's a problem. Um, you just, you should just do that. It's not gonna sound perfect, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. And do that for, I don't know, however you, however long you want. I do it for up to a minute. This sample. Doing a shift sample in F mod, by the way, you're not gonna you're not gonna hear the whole thing because you know it's literally just the shift sound. But in case you stay in that RPM range with the shift sound longer, then you'll probably hear it. But it's not like 
major. Ah, screw it, that works. Let's hop into F mod. Once you get into F mod, if you're mo sound modding for the first time, uh, go to events, cars folder, and you should see a bunch of, I think it's two sounds that are already in there. Just for reference, given my kunos. So what you want to do is take either the Abarth or the Tautis, which I can't find, uh, to start off. But if you already have been sound modding for a long time, you can just take any one, really. So just for this video, I'm going to take the M2 sound. Because we're going to take all the samples out of it anyway, it's not going to matter. Copy that. And... Right click on cars and paste. Let it load for a little bit and scroll down. You should see a copy of it. And it depends on what car you're putting it on. I'm putting it on the MNBA F80 right here. So you could just right click, rename, copy and paste, and paste the name over here. That's not all. You see all these assigned tags here. Just hold control and then click on all of these. It'll take a minute. Go ahead and right click, assign a bank, copy and paste a name, press OK, and it's assigned. Now, let's start it with the interior sound. All right, now that that's cleaned up, I'm gonna have a look at what it looks like to the engine interior when you start F mod for the first time. You're going to see something called 500 SS load. If you scroll down, you'll find coast. So load, self-explanatory. It's basically when you're on the gas. And if you scroll down to coast, it's when you're off the gas. Pretty simple. But what I do in pretty much all of my sound mods, I re rename them to whatever. It doesn't really matter, really, as long as you can understand which one they are. Let's uh, put the samples in there. Make sure you take the renamed ones by Audacity, not the ones by Audition. Put that in there. And to make things easier, you can just go to Content Manager, Showroom. Wow, well, just not even showing up. Never mind. Yeah, Showroom. Just to make sure. You'll see what I mean in a second. So what I do is try to match it to the sample. Just to get the general idea of the pitch that I'm aiming for. So it's around 5.7 5700 RPM and stop that. And we'll go ahead and move this. We can turn this off. Now that I've gotten the sample into F mod, um, press the little arrows right here. And since we're aiming for about 5700, um, I already clicked it, but go to right click on pitch, go to add modulation, and auto pitch. And this um, auto pitch tab should pop up. Put it down to 5700 and play it. Sounds pretty good. It's not perfect, obviously. Now that we got our main sample in there, if you have a shift sound, go ahead and do the same thing. Wrong folder, great. should be the same pitch so I'll go down here set it to 5.7k and uh, since the red line is supposed to be around 74 7500 you want to get it as close to there as you can basically when you shift rpm is going to go down it's going to hit the target point of the shift sample and it's gonna sound something like this. It's 
a little sloppy, but we can fix that a little later. But that about does it for getting samples into FMOD using Audacity on Audition and YouTube and all that fun stuff. So in the next video, I'll cover on how to um, clean up everything because obviously this is, a, this is a little sloppy and get some more samples for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.